The World Health Organization on Friday declared that the current Ebola outbreak in West Africa constitutes an international health emergency. WHO Director General Dr. Margaret Chan made the announcement at a Geneva press conference. This morning, I am declaring the current outbreak of Ebola virus disease a public health emergency of international concern. The committee's decision was unanimous. Its advice to me acknowledges the serious and unusual nature of the outbreak and the potential for further international spread, but also the need for strong international coordination of the response. In the worst outbreak in 40 years, the spread of Ebola hemorrhagic fever in West Africa started in Guinea in February, then went to Sierra Leone and Liberia. There have now been 329 cases of Ebola in Liberia, with 156 deaths alone. The West Africa outbreak has so far resulted in more than 1,300 confirmed cases and 729 deaths. The virus is transmitted to people from wild animals and spreads through human-to-human -human transmission by direct contact with infected blood or secretions or via contaminated objects such as needles. Patients are most contagious when Ebola hemorrhagic fever is in its terminal stages, causing massive internal bleeding, profuse vomiting, and diarrhea. Chan says the emergency calls for higher alert and coordinated international effort to control the disease. The declaration of a public health emergency of international concern alerts the world to the need for high vigilance for possible cases of Ebola virus disease, but by no means implies that all countries, or even many countries, will see Ebola cases. Only a small part of the African continent is currently affected. Above all, the committee's conclusions and my decisions are a clear call for international solidarity. Countries affected to date simply do not have the capacity to manage the, an outbreak of this size and complexity on their own. And then Dr. Keiji Fukuda.